we're going to talk a little bit about the food chain. Does anybody have any questions? I know I'm like blowing through this stuff as we're going along. All right. The handouts that I gave you, we, we, this is information for you to go through later on. Um, general information about today's presentation about notes, so it's not related to what's here on the PowerPoint. But this is the food chain. This is generally where you guys would be the individual note buyers. Um, at the top, we have the mortgage banks and regional banks and credit unions. They sell the loans to get the bad debt off their books to save money. Um, and then we have the hedge funds. These hedge funds are purchasing 350 a month, 350,000 a month. You know, fifty million dollars. Actually, I'm sorry, fifty million, a hundred million dollars a month, purchasing these notes for two cents. You know, on a dollar from these large institutions. And then the next level will be a private fund, equity fund like us. You know, we will probably deploy a couple of hundred thousand dollars. You know, four or three times a year to purchase these notes from the hedge funds. Can we deal direct? Yes, we can, but we have to have that purchasing power. So you can actually, essentially, in our position, create a fund. You know, get partners, whether it's equity partners or percentage partners, create a million, two million dollars, or a ten million dollar fund to go to the big guys and purchase cheaper. The more capital you raise, the cheaper your price point. You know, so then we have you guys here, the individual note buyers. You know, here they may purchase it for, for two cents to fifteen cents in a dollar. We may get it from fifteen cents to twenty four cents in a dollar. And then once we sell it to you guys, it may run somewhere around 35 to 40 cents on a dollar. So that's generally how it goes. Now, before I got into the second space, I was always curious to, to figure out or to understand how is it possible for someone to have a second mortgage that they're not paying and that note to be sold over and over and over again. And I figured it out by this the food chain. You know, because we would have uh, clients say, well, they sold my second mortgage again. They sold it again. It, this is the fourth time it's been sold in five months. Who will buy something that you're not paying on? And we couldn't understand it. If someone purchased a $100,000 note for $2,000, that's value. They can sell it to the next person for seven, ten, dollars all the way up to $30,000. You know, so that's generally how the food chain works. Any questions so far? 